Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a thoughts video on the one thing that a lot of the internet has basically talked about nonstop, and that is, well, has been hotel. Specifically, I want to talk about the music in, in the series. The characters can wait. The characters are a whole the video on, the, on themselves. Each individual one, I might add. I want to talk about the music itself and how a lot of it just, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Adds more to the song and they brings the story along a lot more. It kind of gives a little bit more context. Like the thing with Loot and Adam in episode one, we're saying that no, sinners cannot be redeemed and they cannot go to heaven. So yeah, literally hell is forever. Uh, Charlie is basically going, no, no, sinners can be redeemed. And that's just the second song in the first episode. This, the first one is her just saying, I can do this. I'm going to make mom proud. I'm going to do what I can to make this hotel work. Episode two is when we get, is, well, I should say it'd be the video of the song of Stay Gone. And all I can say is Alistair and Vox. Oh, I would kill to see a showdown between those two. Like, I would kill for this. I would just... Like, the song is awesome. Vox basically saying, I'm the... I'm the... I am the future of hell. I'm the future, okay? You're only the past. Alistair, who is the radio demon, he has shown that his technology, being on the radio, is known to work. Like, no matter what. We all know this. Which, I mean, he's not wrong. We should, we can't do that. Uh, and then the song with Serpentius and Charlie. I think we could both agree that he wants to make the effort. Serpentius wants to make that effort to do better. But given the fact that he was basically threatened by the V's, which remember, Vox, Valentino, and Velvet, to force him to do that is, mm -mm. Episode three is, you know, episode three on itself is a mood, but respectless, saying that, basically Velvet saying to Carmilla, hey, a lot of us know what you did, or at least we think we know what you did by killing that exorcist. You gotta tell us something? Carmilla hiding it, or Camilla, sorry, hiding the fact that she know that she did kill the angel is uh, something that a lot of people will pick up on. And she herself has admitted that, yeah, I killed the angel, so what? I mean, this, uh, the song itself is amazing. And then the song with both Camilla and Vaggy saying, we want to do better. They can do better. <coughs> oh. Is, I mean, it's very heartfelt and I like that. I absolutely do love that. And also Nifty is just unhinged as hell. So there's also that. Uh, we have episode four with Poison and Loser Baby, which by the way, Poison is a banger. That is such a banger. Cause Angel wants to get away from Valentino, but with a lot of people within the, I'm just doing this so I don't anger the internet within the DV that are in DV. They, they don't know how to get away. And the, and Loser Baby is basically Husk and Angel to say, having a talk, which honestly Angel needed that talk with Husk. 
I mean, it is true. They're both losers, so just go with it. But I really love that. Like, I've had that song on repeat for hours at a time. Finally, we get to episode five, which is Dad Beat Dad, where we meet the one, the only, the myth, the legend, Lucifer Morningstar. Honestly, his personality just threw me for a loop as well. I was thinking someone who's very stoic, very narcissistic, things like that. But when I see that he's like, my daughter wants to see me take that depression, I was like, okay, this I am not expecting. I was not expecting this at all. So that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> Lucifer is such a mood. Between him and Alistair, they are such moods. And then, like, their song, Hell's Greatest Dad. Honestly, the two of them, I could listen to a whole song by uh, with just Alistair and Lucifer. Honestly. And then Mimsy coming at the end, saying, like, You guys have waited ten years for me. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Honestly, Mimsy is just fun. She's so much fun. And then the second song in the episode. Oh my god. That song just... It hurts. Like, the first time I heard more than anything... I honestly cried. I straight up started bawling because what it really is is it shows who Lucifer really is. Like he's someone who has been weighed down by his by his own what's the word I'm looking for? By his failures. And he kept his daughter at a distance. Honestly, I think that one hurt. But the fact that the song is a heart-to-heart -heart between the two of them... Honestly, they needed that heart-to-heart. -heart. They just want to get to know each other because, again, Lucifer has kept her at such a distance. For so long. And... The visuals in that song are incredible. Plus, if you really listen to these lyrics... It is it shows how much depth the man really has. He loves his daughter. He wants to help her. And he wants to get to know her. He just doesn't know how. But I think with Lucifer, that's where the strength is. He's a good dad. He really is. He just... Wants to know his daughter more. He wa she wants to, and she wants to know her dad more. I'll do a video on episode six when I finally get a chance to see it. But that's all for today. I love your faces. Stay safe. Be kind to each other.